Hello, good evening everybody and welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Chidi Ebere. In today's tutorial, we'll be looking at everything Firestore. I call it everything Firestore because uh, today we will be looking at how to add Firestore to our Flutter project or app and how to add data to our Firestore, that's saving data to our Firestore, how to update data in Firestore, adding sub-collection in Flutter, deleting data from Firestore, retrieving data from Firestore, retrieving um, sub-collection, how to retrieve a document, listing for real-time update. When there is an update, maybe uh, a record is added or a record is deleted, we will be looking at that as well and how to perform queries in Firestore. And lastly, we will be looking at how to order our data in ascending, descending, or maybe by alphabetical order so um as as the case may be i might be splitting this uh video into series but um for now let's start um the first thing i've gone ahead to create a fresh project which i call everything firestore here and uh, i've gone ahead and cleared almost everything here and uh, i'm only left with a button so for today's tutorial, we will be seeing our result in our console. We are, we are not going to be doing any uh, visual, designing any interface or user interface or anything. So basically, we are looking at the commands we can use to interact with Firestore in our mobile application. So without wasting much of your time, let's quickly dive in. So I want to, if how I got here was, um, log into fire console dot firebase dot google dot com then uh it will take you to this place if you have a other project it will show here if you don't then click on add new project so i normally start by um showing everything i do i assume that uh, whoever that is watching this it's uh is is new to flutter and uh if you if you are not new you can skip all those all these processes but if you are new uh, you might want to follow through all the processes so that wherever I install a package or I download a package or I add uh, a dependency, you too can be able to see it and do that as well so that it won't be a, uh, a situation whereby you are doing the same thing I'm doing and you are getting errors due to uh, you didn't install some packages or get some packages or add, add some dependencies which I added at the start of this project. So I'll go ahead and call this uh, project everything. What's the name? Let's say everything Firestore. So it's going to go ahead and create this for us. So I click on continue. Here, it asks for, so we don't need Google Analytics, we disable it, and then I create my project. So my project is going to take a few uh, seconds to uh, build and load. And why is doing that? I want to tell you more about uh, pub.dev. This is where we'll be getting our packages. So go ahead and look for Firebase Core. We need two packages, Firebase Core and Firecloud. Uh, Firestore Cloud, or I will check the name. So for this Firebase call, go ahead and installing and uh, pick up this, copy, come back to this place, go to your postpec.yml file. I normally put mine under Copertino and see. So the second thing we will add is uh, Firestore. Okay, Cloud Firestore, that's the name. So for our Cloud Firestore, quickly go to installing and then grab it and copy. If I'm sorry, if I'm too fast, you can slow use the settings to slow down the video. So these are the two new packages which I added. Make sure they are aligned directly under this flutter under dependencies and uh, another thing i would like to do is i would like to remove uh not check disable not check because it gives me a lot of issues sometimes 
and um, so I'll go ahead and get these packages that I just added these two packages I'll click on this and then it will get it for me so while it's getting it let's quickly jump back into our firebase console so our project has been created successfully and it will take us directly into our project so here is our project everything fire store that's the name we gave to it so for today's tutorial i will be focusing on uh android because i'm currently using a windows uh system operating system and um you can click here to create your new app or you can go to project settings and come down all the way to this place where you have your apps then you can create a new app so when you click on new app it will ask you to um, the name of your organization name or pack Android package name to get your Android package name simply go to your Android folder go to uh, app go to build.gradle so it should be somewhere here so this is my Android package name com dot everything dot example dot everything flutter if you are using a product if this is for production environment please 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 change this organization name to com dot your maybe your name or the name of your pet or whatever you want to name it don't leave it as com dot example because when you try to upload it to google play store they will reject it so I've copied this. Another thing I would like to quickly do <clears throat> is to uh, change my minimum SDK. For you to use Firebase, minimum SDK is 21, but uh, I normally use 23. So I change it to 23, and uh, every other thing seems to look good. I'll go back to my Firestore and then paste this here. So the name of my app, everything fire store so i don't need to add these uh, certificate uh ssha uh, sha uh is for dynamic link and for google sign in and phone authentication so i'll go ahead and register my app So it's kind of taking some time to load. So we we'll wait. Okay. The next thing we do is to add download Google JSON uh, file, and we are told to add it under our app folder. So it will be downloaded soon. Has it been downloaded? Let me check. Okay, it has been downloaded. So I've downloaded it many times. So it has added a number to it. So I copy this. I go back to my project and then under my app, I right click and I click on paste. Now I will change the name. Make sure you have only Google services.json as the name of your file. Click on OK. Now you can see the name of my application and it shows everything is OK. Now the next thing to do is to click on next and then copy this class part we have to gradle.gradle uh, files build.gradle one is for your app and the other one is for your project for project level so what we just copied here is for project level build.gradle so i'm going to quickly come to this place and then add it in between these two here and the next one we'll be adding will be for our app level and then just come here copy this and then go back to your project and then see if this is under app open it and scroll all the way to the top and put it somewhere here so we are now ready to go we are now ready to start um, building our application so we continue to console and here we have what we have this so this will be the end of this tutorial in the next section i will show you how to connect your um firestore to flutter to firestore directly 